friends, I'm Eric Halfren. And I'm Paige Spizak. And today we are doing a Michigan's best day in the city of Jackson. We're currently standing in one of the oldest operating train stations in the United States, but we are not just here for the train. Oh no, we're gonna be checking out some art that's scattered throughout their city with their bright walls installations. You're gonna love that. And Jackson is a food town, so we're gonna try as many places as we possibly can. And if there's time, let's go for a hike. Let's do that. All right. But first, coffee. As with all great Michigan's best adventures, this one starts with coffee at the Jackson Coffee Company. And while Paige was trying to figure out what to order, she discovered it was pumpkin spice season. <laughs> so we're starting with fall flavors. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we got coffee. We'll get donuts. Oh, yeah. There's really only two things you need to know about Hinkley Bakery. One is they take only cash, and two, no matter what your favorite donut is, if they have warm donuts, take those I'm first. Good. Thank you. So I don't know how to break this to you, but the, the bag is actually warm. Really? <gasps> you feel it. Alright, so I made the right decision. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what's up, friend. After that perfect start to the day, it's the reason that we're here the Bright Walls Festival. This is the finale of the festival. Why? Well, because Jackson has simply run out of walls to do murals on. This is a city-wide muralscape. This always-on art exhibit is absolutely incredible. And as the festival's going on, there are artists from all over the planet who have come to Jackson to share their work permanently. And while murals are very popular throughout the United States to put on walls here and there in the cities that you travel through, nothing looks like Jackson. It is on nearly every single free wall. And it, my friends, is incredible. And to help us make sense of all the stuff we have to do, we're gonna use the Experience Jackson app so we can keep track of all of the murals we need to check out and all the places we need to go to. If you're into trains, Jackson has a rich railway history. And the Lost Railway Museum tells the story of a time when we used the interurban railway system, which in this case connected Jackson to Battle Creek, Ann Arbor, Lansing, and Kalamazoo. But by 1929, that way of travel was lost forever, replaced by the horseless carriage which at this moment in history makes Paige and I think about the next evolution in transportation. And then we got hungry. The parlor is an iconic Jackson stop and home to the dare to be great 21 scoops of hand dipped ice cream. But we are not here for that. We're here for some iconic American diner picks. The Jackson version of the Coney Dog and a Philly cheesesteak, both of which required the perfect amount of napkins. And after a light lunch, it was time to hike it off. The Waterloo State Rec area is the largest state park in the Lower Peninsula, with more than 20,000 acres to hike, bike, hunt, fish, and camp. We could do an entire video on just this rec area, which is the perfect reason to come back. In the meantime, we saw as much as we could in the time we had. Now I know you're gonna think it's strange that we're eating again. However, I had it on good authority that RJ's had one of the most incredible burgers in the state of Michigan, so we had to stop. And when we got there, RJ said that they have a special burger they make there, could he make it for us? Now I can't tell you everything that was on this burger, because honestly I don't know. What I can tell you though, is it's absolutely one of the best burgers I've ever had. Now, something to know about Paige, is that life stops if she sees a dog. And as luck would have it, there was a dog parade while we were in Jackson, complete with a dog competition.
As the day grows old, our adventurers discover a pizzeria that specializes in tabletop board games. After a slice of pizza, they discover a game neither has encountered before. Quickly, they discover that one of these adventurers is clearly outmatched by the other. And when the dust has settled, that adventurer must buy Victory Ale for the winner at our final stop. That stop is the super dope Agma Brewing, formerly the Thunderbird Cafe. It's one part skate shop, one part metal bar, one part incredible brewery. We tried the IPA and of course the Brightwalls Ale, which they made specifically for the festival. And it was the perfect way to cap off our Michigan's best day here in Jackson. <laughs>